Squaw! What's going on, guys? We are back again to Tom Clancy's Wildlands. So what we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to take down some influence. Because as you can tell, I usually like to go for the lowest percentage. So 50, 50, 54, and that one's at 48. Well, in influence, that's this corner right here. There's El Cheeto and an unknown one. So my thoughts are, since the unknown one looks pretty cool, let's see if we have any missions for it. Well, since that one has nothing, let's see if El Cheeto. So El Cheeto, we can get some major intel. Now, I haven't been playing this game in between episodes, but what I'm thinking is one day taking time and just getting as much intel, major intel as possible. So that way I can have all the story missions ready for you guys. So that way we can just go straight into it. Let's hope I don't get hit by a car. Happens a lot. Very, very easily, actually. Looks good. So we're going to hop into this helicopter, take flight, and then go over to that major there intel, which is actually really, really far. It's on, like, the other side of the map. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because the collectibles are fun, but I've kind of finished off. I'm not really feeling it anymore. So, since that's the case, how about I just, you know, take my time and do other things? So... I just decided, you know, I've been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Z, like and so that's what I've been playing a lot. So, the truck's getting away. Get maybe it. today, I'm not entirely sure. We'll take the time, okay. and the we'll discover all the major intel, so that way when I record episodes like this, you guys can have uh, something to watch other than me just gathering intel, because gathering intel is not fun at all. So we're going to make sure that when I come into an episode and you guys click on it, it's story mission, story mission, story mission, and that's it. Now, there is going to be some flying, some driving, things like that, like what we're doing right now. I mean, flying doesn't take too terribly long, which is great. I can just fly all the way across the entire world. I got eyes on a big fucking house. Welcome to Shea Beauty Queen. Look at that. You should drop in and say hello. Bowman says she's in Peru at the moment, a business trip, but a little recon couldn't hurt. Now, as you take time, like if I were to fly in this area, all these, oops, if I were to fly in this area of the map, all the gray stuff, if I were to just fly out into all that grayed out things, it would basically discover most of the stuff. So as you can tell, when I flew in that top left district, there was a little bit visible, but mostly grayed out. Well, that, I, I now know who works there. So that's basically what I'm going to do one day is cover, uncover all the map and gather up as much major intel as possible. So that way you guys can get as good of a game as possible. And for some reason it's lagging. Let's hope it doesn't continue. Because then that might mean crashing. And that's no fun at all. What I want to research one day, which maybe if there's anybody tech savvy out there watching my videos, if you are interested in, my PC has a GeForce GTX 1080. Very, very good graphics card. One day, I really want to do some research because my motherboard supports Crossfire. I want to get Crossfire enabled and I want to see if I can get a second GTX 1080 and have just insane graphics, like perfect graphics. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I want to look it up one day, see how it works, because my, I think my motherboard can fit like three graphics cards. Now I'm not doing that. Way too expensive. Not necessary by the slightest. But one day, if I save up enough money and I have some extra money that, to upgrade my computer to make better content, better quality, I might try it out one day. Possibly getting a PC that's like crazy, crazy good. Right now I have an i5 in there, 3.5 gigahertz, and it has four cores, a GTX 1080, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM total, it's a Rip Jaw Series 5 I believe, DDR5, or DD, yeah, DDR4, DDR5, one of those, I can't remember exactly. Uh, I have a cooling system for the processor. The processor remains very cool the entire time. I can be running the hardest game and it's cool. It's like perfect. No problem at all. But like the graphics card, the graphics card runs pretty hot. I'm wondering if it would do anything. 
If I were to put in two graphics cards, say I do get two GTX 1080s. If I have two GTX 1080s and it's using both of them, would it use one until it's maxed out and then go to the other? Or will it distribute it evenly? Because then my PC might run cooler if I have two GTX 1080s in my computer. That'd be interesting and something to look out for. But here we are, we're almost there. And once we get this major intel, I'm not gonna go and gather all the major intel. There's no point in that. Because like I said, I don't wanna show you that. So what I'm gonna do is gather that major intel and then go around, do the mission. If we have time, get do another one. But I wanna try and get everything discovered after I'm done recording, recording here today. We'll do a spotting on this area because this is the area with the major intel. So far no one knows I'm here. There we go. Now I take myself, insert into this building, and investigate. I got mentions of a meeting between El Cheeto's agent and Santa Blanca lieutenants. There's no location on the meeting, but... Wait. We've got an address for the hotel where the assistant to the agent checked in for the night. Assistant to the agent? The showbiz type. Alright, so now I know of a mission. So we can go and do that mission Tell right here. It makes him feel important. Whatever. Let's find this assistant. So let's go over to the helicopter He'll lead us to his boss. and fly away. Actually. Oh, it's here. Kind of. No, it's not. It just it's in that direction. Okay. I was about to say, it's it's not here. That'd be a far way if I tried fighting through all that. That would take forever. Hey, go ahead and fire. I'm about to leave. We rattled somebody's cage. I was about to say, there's no point in fighting me. I'm pretty much gone. And I'm going to one of the lowest points in the map. You know what's also pretty interesting? And this has li literally, like, no purpose at all. But I found it to be pretty cool. Is, um... You can... Hang back, that tank will spot you. I got eyes on a guy who looks like the assistant to El Cheeto's agent. What's our play? Snatching him might send up red flags to his boss. An old what is it? If you look up a, see at the map, who he's trying to remain undetected as he the makes uh, us, we whispering got entails. Easy. Come in. <clears throat> Wait, what happened? Okay. I located him. Oh, I got too close. Maybe I should read what I'm supposed to do before just doing something. But yeah, if you look at the map and you put your mouse cursor over something, it actually tells you the longitude and latitude of the game. It's pretty interesting, just to let you know. The little things in life, you know? But so, locate the agent's assistant without being detected. Well, that's easy. I asked the Spot him. On a guy who looks like the assistant to Tail the assistant, remain undetected. Him, okay, I can do that. An old-fashioned tale. You see what he does and who he sees. Stay out of sight. If he makes us, we got nothing. I'm guessing he's gonna get into a vehicle. So he takes a car. I was the tech. Up, Are you serious? This one might take a little bit longer than I thought. So, we're gonna try it again. Alright. Let's see. I wanted to get into the car, 
because I felt like the bike would be more obvious. Alright, let's see. Let's hope it takes one more try. I'm not going to guarantee anything. Because this mission is a lot... A lot more unique than most of the other ones. I asked the I got eyes so on we'll a guy spot him. The assistant to El Cheeto's agent. What's our play? Snatching him, I send up red flags to his boss. An old-fashioned tale. You see what he does and who He'll he leave sees. the building. Stay out of sight. If he makes us, we got nothing. And he'll get into the car. And now he leaves. Now we get in this car. Should be okay now. Hang on, I'll drive. Target is too far. So remain under 300 meters. Looks like the assistant stopping in this big building. Deploy drone. Might be meeting his cartel contact here. We gotta hear that conversation. Think we'll have enough room to maneuver in there? We'll send in a drone and record the meet. I don't want to risk getting made. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Drone is airborne. I'm in the library. What does it want? Oh, I thought it was doing something. Deploy it into the library. Well, what about it? All right, hold on. We're going to take these guys out. Got what we need. Let's move. Bowman, you tracked El Cheeto's agent to a meeting with Santa Blanca. The cartel people were really big on him spreading his See, I was about to try to take those guys out. There's a promo truck that'll be making the rounds of this part of Bolivia. El Cheeto's a big deal for their influence. That truck will just spread cartel propaganda. So we take out the promo truck. Holt loves blowing shit up. We can't just blow up the truck. There's got to be a warehouse stocking more promo materials. We swap out the truck for one loaded with C4. I'll have Pacatari's people come up with a copy of the promo truck. When that truck goes back to the warehouse full of promotional material, that's when we blow it. Sounds high risk. You already have a truck? I'll get what we need. You just need to get the truck. And keep your nose to the ground to see what else we can do to undermine the cartel's influence in the province. Got it. We'll get your truck. Okay. 
locate the promo We've truck. The so we'll go over here and do this mission. So this way I'm doing a constant mission and not just going and gathering major All intel. But I'll go and gather, like I said, major intel in between episodes. Alright, so we'll drive this way. Out of this place. Hopefully we'll get there quite quickly. It does look like it's kind of quick, but you know, with roads, it's all twisty and turny. So we'll hop up this way, drive up there, just to make it a little bit quicker. Just go up the wall. This truck is a beast. There is no truck in the world that would be able to do that. Not a straight up wall like that. Now we're cutting the travel time in a little bit. Jeez. Maybe not with that one, but you know. Shit balls. Come on, flip over. There we go. It's like GTA, is it? I don't know. There's a game out there that when you try and push the turn button or turn a uh, stick, it will actually flip the car back over for you, which is nice because I didn't, I didn't want to try and go get another truck. All right, we're gaining. It's not too, too far. We'll be able to do it in this episode. No problem. So let's hop around this corner. Look at these drifting skills in a truck. Burning rubber here, guys. We're burning rubber. So now we have to basically, we gotta locate the promo truck because we're in an influence territory. And then we gotta do something else, which is, I'm not sure. I'm thinking blow it up, get rid of it. I don't know. We gotta do something to it. There's a major intel. I could go get it, but there are enemies there, so I don't know if I want to yet. I'll do it later. Like I said, I'll do this mission for this episode. Stop being distracted, Josh. So we'll go around this corner. And we'll hopefully be there in a few seconds. It's like right here. We're at a Unidad territory. There we go. So far we haven't been detected. We'll park this truck up here. Bad guys in the area. I got one narco at the checkpoint. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Get a nice area. That doesn't seem like a promo truck. This is the hangar with the but truck. It's a truck. Let's keep our heads down and I guess it is the truck. Finds out we're crashing it's the party. I got truck. eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. All right, so basically Goal we got to steal the truck the without being detected. Materials. Not too Stay hard. Out of sight and let's get this we can do fast. that. Basically, we just got to take people out without being detected. There's one. To Hopefully they'll be able to get there and take the shot. Copy. Target, target mark. Say the word, boss. Boom. Got Took it. out Stop. those three guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I asked the rebels to recon Perfect. the area for us. Just in case. See if anybody's over here. Alright, so all we gotta do is take out this guy in this building right here. 
Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Hey, we're good. Look alive. We got company. There's a guy over there. Got another tank. Two guys. Roger, let me get in position. Roger that. Got the target marked. That tank goes down. Perfect. Okay. And now all I gotta do is grab this truck. Look at all this. I'm gonna take a couple of these CDs. You can buy his MP3s online. This is free. Worry about the music later. Time is a factor, people. Let's just get to the RV and get back with the other truck before anybody's the wiser. All right, here we go. Now we're on the way. Deliver the promo truck to the Rebels, and we have two minutes to do it. I think we can do it in two minutes. I'm a pretty decent driver. Oh, it's right here. I don't know why they gave me like two minutes to do it. Up here, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, look at that. And now place it there. Hurry up. Switch out trucks and start heading back. Talk to the rebel. Que rollo, amigo. You got a truck to swap out? Uh, your Spanish sounds almost as bad as your English. Here's your truck. All that C4 is primed, and our bomb makers were all trained by communists. So take it slow on those curbs. Shit. You want to drive it? No fucking way. I beat myself a bit just driving it here. Good luck, junkie. Alright, so now we gotta take this truck and drive it back. So this is why they gave us all this time. And this truck has explosives. Now this one, we only have a minute. We should be good on time. And seeing how we've traded a truck full of CDs for a truck full of C4, I prefer that we take it easy on those terms. Didn't your recruiter tell you you'd be racing through the countryside in a truck full of explosives? And now leave the area. That'll be easy. Just run this way. We're almost there. And All good. almost there. And done. Well done, people. Complete. No issues at all. In the process. I call that mission accomplished. Wow. Jeez. So I'm going to get some major intel in between episodes. I don't know how many I need. I doubt I would need all four of these. And there's only three missions left. But if you guys liked today's episode, hit the like down below. Yeah, hit the like down below. And just some random timing, timed explosion. It's not like it blew up the whole place. It just blows up the truck. But if you guys liked today's episode, as I keep saying... Hit the like down below, and if you want to keep seeing these great episodes, I upload these episodes of Tom Clancy's Wildlands Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday I throw it out a random game to you guys, just so that you have content every single day. And if you guys like that, subscribe to my channel. I'll be happy to supply all the content that you guys want. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!